Hopefully everything's working like usual. Um, music is going up. My voice is causing it to move. Yeah, I think we're good. So I'm back with this. I felt quite dissatisfied yesterday where I left it. So I'm back. Um, and apparently I finished in a storm last time I was playing. Uh, so I did quite a lot while I was away. Um, I disassembled my room that was here. It wasn't really serving a function anymore. Um, after I finished. But don't fall down the hole. This place. It is now pressurized. At least this bit's pressurized. It has lights. Um, I even got it. The storm thing is working, so I've got an internal space to work if in the storm. Um, I moved all the water across from the old base. I haven't quite moved all the gas across, hence the massive pipeline that's still going. Um, this is air conditioning for that room to keep it a nice temperature. Uh, you see I also moved across all of the hydroponics. I have currently not hooked it up. It does not work, it's just sat there. Uh, but I am getting relatively low on food. So I may actually need to actually make some more food soon. Because <clears throat> I don't think I'll get the next bit of the base sorted before I run out of food. But yeah. When the storm's gone, I will show you what I actually did. So I have a plan for the new base. And I also have a list of things I want to do left. That doesn't make sense, but whatever. I also put the beacon up, so I can actually tell where the hell I'm going. Which is quite nice. Uh, I did also run all the pipes along. All the pipes are now at the end of the year along with power. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, thank god that's where the, the storm ended. Okay. <laughs> Alright. This thing just looks like a bit of a cube. I always quite like the funky look that you get with um, the iron sheets, so I kind of went with them. Not got very many windows in it. It's a working area, not a pleasure area. So. But I think the look inside came out really well. The lights work quite well. I think overall, all the colours look quite fun. It looks sort of busy enough without being too busy. And I think I did quite a good job of the lighting, actually. There's a couple of little dark spots like this corner because of this lot. <laughs> Although I did put one right up in the top there. Which does beam down. It doesn't really work. Yeah, I also finally worked out the courage to put plonk this thing on. Turned out I'd completely messed up the way I'd set this up. Just did. So, whatever. Happened. Uh, yeah. And I've also managed to get this heating system working. There is now almost 300 degrees C in it. Um, but I need to do a bit of work to finish that off. But yeah. Wow, that really was just dark. Anyways, uh, food I'm fine on, water I'm fine on. 
Okay. Uh, I want you guys. Yeah, so there's quite a lot of this base has now been moved elsewhere. In theory, I have all the big items now produced for all the other stuff. So we've got a bunch of gardening stuff, <coughs> kitchen stuff, production stuff, and an extra advanced furnace. Uh, lots of shoots, hoppers, vending machines, you name it, I've got it. So, one thing I'm going to do quickly, because I realise I messed up on this, was... This NOS pipe, I don't actually want it. All the way over here. Because the NOS system be used for fuel generation. So one of the little things I still need to do. So I'm going to focus on the main base for now. But I'll then stop, do something else. Actually, rephrase. I'm going to lay out the main base for now. Then I'm going to stop. Take a... do something else for a bit. So I can have a, a think and a ponder. And then come back with more stuff. Although at the moment, I have a feeling I've been a bit too efficient on my solar and wind power because batteries aren't getting low. Kind of just wasting time waiting for daylight so I can actually see what I'm doing. First, laying out the main base. Yes, yeah, so my final goal is the NOS will be used to power fuel generator, which will be my main source of power in theory. As I said, everyone a bit over the top on the battery front. They're not really dropping below like 95% charge. Um, I mean, some of that's because I haven't got everything running yet. <clears throat> but the 53 solar panels, even if in a very um, inefficient way, do work. It still generates up to like 11 kilowatts of power at their peak. These things generate 40 kilowatts of power and then bugger all the rest of the time. How much are they generating at the moment? One kilowatt. One and a half kilowatt. Probably is enough to actually offset my current power usage. Almost. So there is a very slight diminish. Yeah, so I need to find ways to use more power at some point. So... One of my little projects is going to be fuel generation room. One sec. <coughs> I haven't quite gotten rid of my cold. And obviously it'll probably be here the whole next week. The other one is currently this insulated brown line. It's full of quite hot gases. Basically, I need to cool those down so I can actually make use of the gases in that line. So, the plan is to put a cooling system for them in here. 
Ah, uh, the actual radiators might end up on the roof, though. Yeah, I have a simple idea about what to do. So, hopefully it'll work. It won't be weird, wacky, confusing, or any of those things. Yeah. Come on. Sun can't be that far away now. Yeah, it's really not. If I go a little bit closer and stay up at this height, I might be able to actually no, I'm going to go down. Come on, come back up. You can actually see this full thing now. And like I said, it just looks like an orange cube. I think the inside looks really interesting. The outside, less. And maybe I'll do something with uh, radiators to make it a little bit more fun. But yeah. Right. Sunlight is here. Crack on before I lose it. So. Uh, first thing I was considering is how high the floor is going to be. Now, I don't particularly like um, two-story buildings. I think, I just feel like they feel really cramped. Like, I can find one that hasn't got stuff in it. I mean, there's space here, but not that much. Whereas you compare, like, that to here, it just feels like there's a lot more space. The problem is, by the time I do, because it's going to be a two-story building, by the time I did that, I had three high, which would put me here, and then another three high. That's a really tall building. It's huge. So, yeah. I'm going to stick with two stories high. Basically, this is going to therefore be four high. I'm going to purposely make it one smaller. And I'm purposely going to make it a whole, a whole floor. That makes sense. A whole block floor. That was it. Basically, because there's stuff up here that needs to go on the block floor, and like, yeah, you can build it and then just take the floor away, and the game doesn't care, but. Clean in the ass. Okay. So, next thing is I want an entrance way. Now, this is ten blocks across, so I can't split this thing down the middle. So I'm actually fine with um so the middle is technically that one and that one so I'm going to make a corridor down the center Of which the main door in here. Basically, then gives me four spaces to put all construction stuff, the furnaces, the assemblers, all that sort of stuff, and then three this side to make a massive greenhouse with. So I am going to put some steel frames in, but most of this is just going to be open. I feel like you need some something that looks like it's structurally supporting. Right. In that case, let's make this 
furnace room. Now, my plan for this furnace room is although I am going to pressurize it, I'm only going to, I'm not even going to call it. So, theory being, it will be a separate isolated space with a full airlock through here. It should also be an area I don't need to go into very often. My plan is to put all the controls on this side. And effectively just say, do this, it does it, and I just get out the results eventually. Um, but that means that I effectively just seal this space off. Um... Yeah, that is my plan. So, like I said, I will pressurize it. But I'm only going to let air out, not going to let air in. Because in theory, the room won't cool. Um, it'll only ever get hotter, which means the pressure will go up. And that means I have to release pressure. Um, theory being that, therefore, if it's in a really, really hot room, it loses less temperature when, like, doing its work. Uh, hopefully that doesn't cause me any issues. You need to get the temperature quite low in some of them. So yeah. The next door is going to be a production room. So it is going to be based on putting down all of the assemblers Additional to that, I'll have a control room for the whatever it's called furnaces. Now, in regards to ore handling, I'm going to manually handle it rather than automate it for now. I may automate it eventually. And basically, what I'm going to do is use powered chutes. Go grab one. Uh, this guy, you can set it just to send out one. So every time you hit that button, one will release. So if I wanted three, just hit three and press it. Um, that should give me really, really, really good control over how many ores they send through. So I have nine of those, one for each ore. Um, I think I'll stack them up like that. In pairs, all the way along. Uh, then all I need is somewhere to store the ores. Which I plan to dig a little underground thing for. And stick a bunch of these silos in. And just store the ores in there. Use a bunch of stackers and a bunch of sorters to just sort everything through. Got a couple of hoppers to use as dumping grounds. I'll put one inside, one outside. But that's all future plans. Um, and now I'm just gonna bonk everything in and get it vaguely working. So, greenhouse. I will probably also pressurize this separately from the main base. I don't think it's as critical to do it. Oops, didn't mean to put that But it means if something goes wrong, this area's got a bit more of a buffer before it actually goes completely hits up basically. So I've got 40 hydroponic trays 
sporty Harveys. And somehow, I'm going to work out how to automate something with that. Don't know yet. Work in progress on that one. I'm also thinking, because I've got the Harveys, because it can tell me whether things are happy, might need, or whatever. If I can create all the other environmental conditions, like, and I know they're perfect, whenever it says it's unhappy, I turn the lights on. Whenever it says it's unhappy again, I can turn the lights off. And the theory in the middle, that should give me, like, the perfect amount of time that it wants for each uh, type of orb. Is what I'm thinking. I just realized the mild issue I made. These two are have to go up. Because. I need someone to put some stairs up to the top. And you need four blocks. So actually, what I could do. Double these up. Like that. Got an entrance one, go up there two onto the platform, across, up there two, across, up to the last one. Then upstairs, you need four rooms, which is just living quarters bedroom, bathroom, living room, kitchen. So, bedroom, bathroom will be on one side, probably this side. Living room and kitchen will be on this side. The kitchen will be hopefully aesthetically pleasing, as well as somewhat practical. Um, yeah, so we'll have a fridge, vending, a refrigerated vending machines, all the food that gets made in the greenhouse down here goes up into that for storage. I can then cool it out. Um, and make use of it, basically. So I'm not going to worry about overproducing of food, because I can turn it into charcoal. I'm definitely going to have to go blow my nose. Yeah, Okay, Mike. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. In theory, I need to take away. I don't need that one. I do need these three. Oh, don't need that one either. Okay. Stairs. Um, I'm also thinking I'll make a little bit of a balcony around the edge of this. So the actual living space will be another at least one closer to this. Maybe more, because it feels like a lot of space. Um, which also means I need to put some external stairs up somehow. Haven't worked out I'm doing that yet. It'll come. Okay. First things first, shall I start laying out rooms? Yeah, let's start laying out rooms and trying to get infrastructure in place. Okay. So, let's start off with this lot. Yep. Furnace. So this insulated tank is going to be to store pre-combusted gases.
which will sit just there. Um, my plan is to automate it so that it can work out what the hell it's doing. Uh, I do need to be a little bit careful though in this because what's the flashpoint the most? Right, what's the flashpoint of a pump? Did not tell you. Forty, two hundred fifty. Reason I'm looking this up. So I don't think most of these have auto ignition points. But I do know the active vent. Does. it's pretty high <laughs> wow um not as high as the passive vent though yeah this thing just doesn't have one okay so I used to be a little bit careful about what I put in here because if it's gonna get really hot then it'll cause problems quite quickly Right, what else do I need? So this room will need hot and cold gases. I feel like I should put a light on the fan for this so I can tell where it is. Hmm. I might do that. Contact game site as I tracked. So we need piping. I don't really need the tanks right now. Some of those. Let's go for these. Also put the cable on the other side there. Anyways, back to what I was doing. We need more pipe valves. Hunger caution. Also got hunger caution. Let's just make a bunch of those because I am actually using them. Uh, I don't have any digital valves sat around right now. I'll we'll need one of those. We need a pipe heater. Probably need to make some doors. It's probably worth just making those and putting them in so I know where they go. Yeah, and then I can pipe up some proper power. That's probably a good idea.
Digital valve. Uh, I need a volume. So I'm currently just do, gonna do the infeed, the hot gas, and I'll come back to all the other bits. I just need those, don't I? I want a heater. I need to heat the gas up to get its temperature. Uh, I also want an icy chip and an icy helmet. Do either of those have auto ignition points? Yes, quite low. So that can't be in the main in the room. One last thing, then I can go and do stuff. Yeah, I kind of find these this game easier to work with if I just break things down into sections and work one at a time. I got a bit overloaded yesterday because I was trying to do too many things at once. And I hadn't prop sort of trying to half finish things and that just didn't really work. So I'm just going to take my time and finish things to completion today. Some of these are obviously going to need to be welded. At least partially welded. So, does a battery have any automation? No, it does not. How does it handle heat? Um. Yeah. Um. Never shortcut battery. No loops. Whoops. Um. There is unlimited by the power demand supply. Cold. 
cold atmosphere. So if it's in a hot atmosphere, it doesn't care then. Is what I'm reading there. God, this thing is a bit stiff. I might need to actually put some on it. <laughs> um, so I could put a normal station battery in it. Let me get through to that. Give me a sec. Do I mean by I'm gonna run out of food pretty quick? I might seriously have to go and put some effort into actually making this. Waste time. Come here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Temperature low. Oxygen low. Okay. That was weird. I don't know why that was back ejecting. Right, I'm going to put lots of little batteries in this place, though, because I feel like that's a better idea. I'm going to put the batteries in there somewhere. Over. Hey, for some reason you can't separate these. You have to place one and deconstruct it to get one. I don't know why. There's a couple of things I found that you can't separate. Like the normal hand commands. I mean, I get it why certain things like ores and things like that you can't separate with hand and you need a machine for that. But why stacks of station batteries? That makes no sense to me. Right, you can go there. Turn you on. Let's hook you up to power. Uh, actually, no, hang on. This. In the middle, right? Because it comes in in the middle, so it's not in the middle. No, it's not great to put cables through um, solid blocks. It'll be fine. Probably, maybe. Probably not. I'll pull down the loss of power very, very quickly. I always love watching this headset charge up. It takes no time at all. Then from that, I need a turbo pump in. Digital valve out. 
Uh, I need to use the insulated piping in here. So, up to there though. Piping. This will be in, in the middle of the wall. As soon as it enters this room, it's going to be insulated, otherwise it's going to get too hot and auto combust. Awful way I don't want to. Too close. Conveniently line that up perfectly. Wow. <coughs> That's a miracle and a half. Alright, one more of those because we just put the pipe in the drawer. There we go. Now, in here, I'm going to use pure heavy cable. Basically, because. Um, normal cable explode. So I'm just going to hook everything up to a big network. And realize it instantly got a problem. Very smart. I'm technically using the heavy cable for this bit, but I'll use it everywhere else. I'm just going to carry on. that bit hooked up. So, my plan for this is when the temperature is below 500 Kelvin, um, my assumption is the heat is going to want to be on until he gets above 500 Kelvin. Um, above 500 Kelvin, this will be on. And below it, it won't be on. And then basically, I'm just going to use this to slowly add in gas. And it'll just maintain it at like 5 megapascal. Unless, well, yeah. So, let's just write this down so it actually makes sense. Yeah. So, low 500 Kelvin. Mm. 
Wind pressure. Damn. Kill the Pascals. Um. Heater on. Valve off. Above. Everything okay? Min P. I Mega Pascals. Uh, heater off. Now one. And that's basically what it's going to do. Okay. Uh, I need to put the tank up to so I know what was going on. Uh, I also actually need... Actually, I don't need that yet, do I? What I need first... Temperature... Then... Um... So, if it is below, I'm going to jump out to there. So, Blair. Branch to line C if A, okay. 500. Mode heater. And everything that goes on here is what I need. So, S E2 on 0. The heater off. I know, that's valve, isn't it? Heater off, valve on. I do need that. I'll need that on both of them, so. Then. Slayer. Five thousand. S. D one. On. That's all I want, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, what I'm doing is the opposite. This one. Just my settings.
that should be it. Uh, I probably just need to put a piece of pipe in. Not that one. On there, so you're happy. off. Now it's just going to heat up until it goes kaboom. Okay. Just going to leave that be. <laughs> Basically. None of this should also ignite. So. Next bit. Let's build this furnace so I can actually see how these are right. Leave any electronic parts here. So in here still. But I need four digital valves, some shoots, only power shoots. This is getting there though. It's starting to look like a like a decent base. I have a habit of just building bases. I really should stop. But I like it. I still got like ninety-nine percent power. <laughs> I don't even bother. Uh, I probably want two transformers too, actually. It'd be worth putting all the logic for these on. Separate transformer networks. No ignition point, good. And I didn't bring back doors, did I? Whatever. One thing at a time, not multiple things at a time. And that's my excuse. I'm sticking. This is outfeed, isn't it? Oops.
So. That second stack. There we go. That's the in feed. Allow me to signal the others out to the issue. Right. brown first. The brown is the waste pipe, it's the hot at gas is out. This is the only place that this particular line will ever go to. They should never have this hot gases out of any of the others. Gas is out. Gas is in. Gas is in, I guess, after. Cold auction supply, I should say. You know what? Changing my mind. <coughs> um. like this.
close enough. Let's just go on. Got it. Where was this one? Lower again. Slightly awkwardly on the other lower, though. Go one higher. Go top. Okay. Okay. There's those two down. Of course, but the controls on the outside. So, put in oops, um, put in materials. Bit floppery, it. Oh, these ones do it just every other one, isn't it? But I can't manually set it. Really? That's quite annoying. Do I need a digital one, then? I think I might need to put the digital one in. Come play in a minute. So flip floppery allows me to pick which furnace the materials go into. I will then have a series of um, buttons I can press to actually send stuff in. It will then smelt using hot gases. Is what this one's for. Then use a combination of the hot and the cold to get to the right temperature and pressure. Um, so then smelt and then get back out, get thrown through here. I think that's all I need. I've got a limited supply of gas, providing, of course, there's hydrogen and oxygen. I'm going to dis disassemble this guy and then assemble it in the other spot. Because I'm lazy.
Okay. Hot gases. I'll have to work out to get the cable right then, but I think it's cool. Okay. Do the shoots first. Um, Okay, shoot's done. Waste gas is done. Hot gas is all doing. I feel like I fought all my life for this. This one can't be one that I always miss. No, just don't let it go. Hmm. Not a problem. <laughs> How the hell do I get hot gas from there to there? Getting around the back of this. That doesn't actually work, does it? Um, huh. Get through there, can't I? I'm that. <laughs> That's the most convoluted method I think I've ever taken, but let's ignore that. Quite. I always say make things, make sure you make things big enough. And they almost didn't. I'll describe that as more luck than judgment, but.
I've got two different colours to start my life a little bit. There's two furnaces hooked up, <clears throat> and apart from working out what I'm doing with the software, that's done. But I'll come back to all that. I'm actually getting this thing functioning, I'll come back to that. Getting there. 74 degrees C. Right, so other than some doors, and the atmospheric control system fashion is done. So, what do I plan to do for this? Well, the obvious way is use an active vent. That seems kind of boring. I'm going to use passive vents. <laughs> uh, I need a non tone valve and digital valve. Should work. I probably want some more insulated pipe as well. Give me a sec. Let's hope I don't forget important stuff. Yeah, one stack. So, what my plan is here. Is... So, want to use this for door purposes. Hence why that one's there. <coughs> Other than that, I want to use it. Really, you're not going to let me place that at the end of a fight. I need to actually construct that this time around. The game could be quite random or what it lets you put on. Okay. So, part of this, I want a
There we go. The last thing I need is a gas sensor. It's good they do not blow up. Some of them do. Okay. Right. We'll get food on the way back. Uh, actually, you know what? let's just take all the door stuff. I need to do the door. So, let's just do it. Act events. Door, kit console, the airlock. APC. And I need another sensor. And what else do I need? Um, nuclear battery. So a couple of lights, all the stuff in there. Yeah, that's all I want. I'm not convinced I like the look of that. I might need to go on lower. Old. I'll switch out my battery as well, I guess. That's a 53%. There we go. First things first, let's remove that frame. I'm not piping through it properly.
There's gas is hooked up. Uh, I probably want to weld up. You. You. I'll have to work out what I want to be weld in a minute. Uh, I probably actually want to weld up the top. I feel like that was a bad idea. No, I can't get power down. Oi. Oh yeah, that reminds me. So I lost my wrench. And I couldn't for the sake of me work out where it went. Like, I was going from here to here. Putting it from my inventory into here. Managed to drop it. Can you ever guess where it ended up? Yeah. Somehow it glitched itself into that window. There are two panes of glass here, so it's in between them. But yeah, somehow in the process of flying this way, I managed to drop it, knock it, and it managed to land itself right there. I could rescue it, but I kind of like just leaving it there. Guess we power into here. Um, my concern is the auto ignition. I Apparently the normal glass ones don't auto ignite. Okay, let's use those then. Because reasons. Right, I'm going to have to still use heavy cable in here because it's still going to be access to the high environment. Console. I'll talk at night. Nope. Okay, I need to actually weld those up the places. One minute. Let's finish doing other stuff first. Try not to do too many things at once. Brown cable this time.
I'm not going to finish that. I'm just going to leave it. Because I don't think I'm really far enough along. This kid's not happy. Hopefully, that isn't going through. Sleep out right there. Green network. Lights hooked up. How are you doing? Two twenty five. Yeah, I know what's going on there. Yeah, two hundred was not high enough. Was not high enough temperature. Moving on. Right, so at the top of this, I want to do two other things. I want to. Um, read the occupancy sensor. Maximum. Then. Okay, that'll turn the lights on and off. Else I need to do. I need to do room pressure. So LB. Oh, zero. Pressure. Average. Then a bit of logic. A is larger than B. I turn on.
that should allow all this to work. <clears throat> so now heat up to the correct temperature. And go kaboom. Ah <laughs> oh dear. Anyways, moving on. Okay. In theory, that's that room finished. That is the atmospheric sorted. Entry sorted. Gas furnaces sorted. Um, and yeah. Lighting sorted. Okay. Room number one done. Right, so I'm going to get sidetracked and go do one of my other jobs for a minute. Which is, I need to cool all of the gas in that pipe. So I think again, we need a digital valve. That's an, no, hang on. Digital valve. So I need to do two things for this. The first one I need a tank for. Got. Effectively, what I need to do is I need to improve the way this thing works. So, let's go brown. I need that basically just to register into a network of what the oh what do I say I need to be able to read what the temperature of this is basically my theory is if I compare the temperature between that and the temperature in this the temperature in that is higher I'm going to open the digital valve to allow all these to connect and when it is lower it'll be closed and I'm going to put a non-return valve in the back row, which will allow gas to go backwards out of it, but not go into it when it's colder. In theory, I think that combination should work. valves on this particular network. We need some yellow cables. Now I need to work out how the hell I'm getting the cables over there. Where is them where? All routes are sealed. I need to get from there to there. Now I can't go up this wall because that cable's in the way. Could go through there though. I need to go up and down.
Okay. Just need to demolish this. back up. There we go. Right. We need to do something. Uh, I don't see a point in doing this on So I need a bit of logic. I need a reader, a writer, a compare. Don't need a memory. I just need two more. In fact, I think I've got a couple of readers somewhere. They have quite a few logic items, apparently. I'm debating whether it's more power efficient to go for the... No, I'll sort it. Hey, unit. Logic reader. Logic writer. I should drop stuff like that. Okay. Waste temp. So I want waste to be greater ERT temp. Oh, I've got two compares.
My guess is they're virtually identical. Which is why it's happily open at the moment. Common waste is greater than the RT. Okay. Okay. That's first part. So that stops the waste gas being colder than the, en the energy recovery system. It'll only take um, energy if it is hotter, which is what I want. <coughs> now I need to cool the waste gas. So this bit... I again need a tank. Oh, I want a non insulated tank this time. Do I go big or small? No, let's go small. Uh, I want a bunch of radiators. In fact, I think I've got the little radiator somewhere around here. There it is. Let's take that little guy as well. I then need a volume pump and a digital valve. And basically what I'm going to do is run a cycle. Uh, I'll need an IC chip and a housing. Probably a transformer. Pump. <sighs> okay. I'm going to go fill up my drink quick. Be up, I'm back. Right. So, I think I'm going to put the radiators on the roof. The rest of it can go in here. So the logic... Let me just throw down the laptop. Chip in. Right. So... 
when tank pressure equals zero. Pump in gases until let's say five megapascal. Uh, wait for 272 Kelvin, so zero degrees C. Open digital valve, um, which will go to the other wastes, the not hot waste system, um, until P equals zero. That is basically the sol what's going to happen. So, I'm going to plonk the tank for this one in the inside. Like this. Oh yes, I'm aware it's going to too far into the wall. I'm aware it's going to therefore warm this area up because it's not an insulated tank. But honestly, who cares? This thing's open to the environment the whole time unless it's windy. So who cares? <laughs> Funnily. Because what I'm thinking, I need to get into there for now. Because that is my voice pipe. Therefore, the digital valve can go on there. <laughs> I wish. Uh, right. Digital valve can go there. Pump can go there. Um. Actually. Poke you up the roof. Yeah. It was actually the perfect number of pipes I wanted. Go figure. For the turbo pump, in there. digital valve goes here. Uh, transformer can go over here. to put that through the block again. Oh, 
that's going to cause problems. Uh, right. Let me do this a little bit differently. Annoyingly, I lost one cable, so that's going to be a different colour for a sec. This is getting messy. There is a lot of stuff in here now. Okay. I'm not going to care about the temperature in this. If I don't get temperature out of these gases, I don't get temperature out of these gases. I'm not going to worry too much about that. However, I will pump this relatively slowly so that the gases should, in theory, stay in there for a little while. Okay. Let's weld up the three again. You down, hook you up. Small tank. I'm going to do this in a slightly different style than the other ones I've done, because I'm going to do it in a weight style. So, <coughs> um, let's start with just turning on the pump. Um... Now, hang on, I actually need to change that. So, I need to read the pressure in the tank. While the pressure is lower, than 5,000, the pump is on. Now, I do not care what state that is in, other than when I move to the next section. Oh, hang on. So, now I need to read the temperature. And when the, while the temperature is above... Two seven two is going to go back to the start, so back to main. Um, 
So that will create a loop where it is pressurizing up to 5,000 maximum and it is trying to cool down. Um, yeah. Um, I was debating then because there's theoretically a problem here. Because. If say I'm at 200, well, say I get to 5,000, then the thing cools slightly, it'll drop to 499 and pump more in it, but that will also warm it back up again. So I almost need a trigger. Yeah, let's just mark that down for now. Come back to that in a sec. Uh, right. So, while it's above 272, it'll keep looping. I'll just put the sleep in for the stability. <coughs> so after this, I want to make sure you are off. Make sure the digital valve is on. And again, I'm just going to read pressure. Uh, I don't actually need that one. Oh, the pressure is above zero. It goes back to weight. And then eventually, that finishes and it goes back to the start. Uh, I need to put in the sleep. In theory, it'll then connect the two sets of pipes. And these things are so efficient, they'll just suck everything out really, really quickly and put it all back into the tanks they need to be in. Which is what I want to happen. Right. What to do about the pressure situation? What I'm tempted to do is use, let's say, R15. What I'm thinking is once it reaches five thousand, um, goes to switch. Off and switch R, just do this move R15 0. So basically, that means it will now go away, person. Um, it will now be on until the pressure gets to 5000, then it'll just switch off until after this whole thing finishes. Theory, although it will keep adding while it can, it won't sort of get there, add a little bit more, add a little bit more, add a little bit more, I think. Let's actually put some power in the transformer and turn it on. 
theory, pump should be on. This thing should be trying to pressurize. I don't know how much gas is actually in the system. A reasonable amount, so it should actually be able to pressurize this without too much of an issue. Yeah, I probably want it to go faster than that. It's quite a large space for it to actually depressurize. I just want to check that when it gets to 5 megapascals, it just stops. It doesn't attempt to add anymore. And if it does. I am going to go upstairs and put down all the radiators to actually cool this liquid off. Point five. Five. Did not turn off. It's indeed still on. What the hell did I screw up? <sighs> Big Atal. Goes to see if A is larger than B. So, reading the tank pressure. Checking the tank pressure is above 5,000. Switch is off. Which puts R15. Uh -huh, there's the issue. <laughs> I didn't actually put R15 into the pump. Yeah, that's now gone off. A little over pressure. But once I start cooling this off, it should work. Let's go get food on the way through. I feel like I've seriously got to, like, plant some stuff now. Because this will be the last of my corn. Got water, I've got atmosphere. Anti critical. What do I grow? Do I just grow potatoes? Go away, B. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Water comes in from above. There's power going down here. Oh, sorry, it since it's temporary. <coughs> you can go out the window.
Okay, let's just double check there's water in there. Good. Good temperature. I need some power. Pink. Apparently, I just made these ones pink. Logic readers, or a logic writer, and a logic reader. Uh, basically, I'm going to use those to turn on the lighting inside the thingy. Hydroponics. I do need to go get a gas sensor to do that. Sorry, a light. A light sensor. Um, probably just put down somewhere for it. I'm gonna bring it back in with it in a minute. Temporarily, I can just start growing. Let's grow two tomatoes. And two potatoes. Okay, just need a sensor. <sighs> kind of glad that everything was just there and I'd actually put the effort into setting that up. That could have gone really badly, really quickly. Because I have no backup food. Like, none at all. That is my entire food stock in that fridge. There's a bunch of very, very rotten tomatoes. Or almost very rotten tomatoes, just to say. Um, sense are. Daylight sends up. Uh, I do actually need to take you back up again. Because one of these... Activate. One of them tells you whether the sun's up or not. Wanna get wanna bet? I'm gonna need to put that thing on the roof or something. <laughs> oh no. Absolutely gonna have to happen, isn't it? I'll just put a cable up to the roof and deal with it like that. I 
can also get away with it. I. I'll sort out just do it properly. Wait, I didn't want that. Where's my sensor gone? Okay, now we got back in and set it up again. Complicated stuff this is. Okay, there we go. That bit's still working. Perfect. Right. That's food's growing again. So now I just need to go back up on the roof. And add in a ton of radiators. I've got to try and work out to lay them out so they look somewhat interesting. And not just a bunch of radiators sat on top of the roof. I was just checking if it actually managed to um, cool down enough to actually give interest. Something like that. That actually forms a shape. Yeah, why not? That'll do. Okay, two more. One more, sorry. And it's working. Because it hasn't started pumping in more gas. But wow, that is cooling off quick. <laughs> Let's 
go inside and have a check to make sure that's actually doing what I think it's doing. In theory, when this gets to zero, that should turn on and they should suddenly start depressurizing. Turned on. That's pressurizing back up again. Why are you pressurizing back up again? That didn't drain out. And I know that thing is those things are quick, but they're not that quick. Valvon. Sleep for one. Read the tank pressure. Um, well, A is larger than zero, which is zero, which is our zero. Set register. Branch to line. I want that one. Right. Still not right there. I feel like they're both on at the same time. No, you're off. Wait, how do I keep doing that? Three Pascal. I think I'm probably better off just pumping it out. Just putting a volume pump on it rather than using that. Uh, the other thing I need to do is make sure I move R15 1 at the very start. That's basically to make sure that this guy comes on at the start of the whole cycle. I'm going to switch that digital valve out for a volume pump. The reason that I think this isn't working is because this isn't quite depressurizing because there's like quite a lot of stuff just feeding into it very slightly. So I don't think it's ever getting to a point where it's fully depressurized. And I could probably solve that by non-return valve, but again, it doesn't. That only works if the pressure is lower on one side, and it may not be. So I think a pump is better. Oh, there's always those little niggles. This one I'm just going to set to maximum speed, so... 1,000. I can just do it as quickly as it possibly can. Right, I need a bit more cable. Paint it to yellow. Then, in 
pump. Out pump. <laughs> um, that might be an issue. I don't think you actually pump in enough gas to actually warm the whole system up. <laughs> it's a bit, um, unexpected. Those radiators are really effective. It doesn't actually matter if, because if it runs out of gas on this side, it doesn't actually matter. Yeah, I might as well just set the thing to a thousand, didn't I? Pump like mad. Okay. Well, I think that's gonna work. Just wasn't expecting the cooling to be that effective. <laughs> wow. at this rate it's going to get down to zero before it actually can get anywhere yep there it goes it's gotten down to zero so now it's starting to pull out again <laughs> whatever works don't care not asking too many questions uh right so that is the cooling of the hot gases sorted wait i was going to put that thing on just because I can. And because I haven't really got any other use for this thing. Alright. You know what? This can be grey. A little bit blending a bit better. There we go. Problem solved. Right, back to the main base. <laughs> so, I think for this time, I'm going to work on the pressurization system and the door system for the main entrances. So, I need two sets of door kit. Means I need some lights. Two power controllers. Uh, I need two doors. Um, four doors, actually. Four doors. Consoles. Uh, advanced airlocks.
battery nuclear. We need four active vents. And two sensors. No, can you not build the sensors in there anymore? Fair enough. Out of gold. So out of copper as well. Right, one more battery, and I'm good to go. Uh, why are you not stopping? Okay. Is this going to let me play stuff without no? Start plonking stuff down. Door. 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 Uh, right. Purple pipe. Not blue pipe. I want the purple pipe. Um. This is going to be. The Side air. Waste tank caution. Waste tank caution. Sold. side. Uh, actually, hang on. This one can be the same on both, can it? This is the only one that needs white. Where did I get the white to? It's not there, isn't it? I'm actually thinking I need to upgrade that. Debating whether or not this fuel line is going to cause any issues, but this outer set of nah, it should be fine. Ignoring it, ignoring it, ignoring it. Okay. Right, I want you back to purple. Weirdly, I want the same gas on the inside of this door. 
And the good old friend known as Weather has just arrived. Hey, that's going to make this a little more interesting for a few minutes. <sighs> um. Yes, I will weld up these. Bright. Very bright. Ow. It's actually kind of hurting my eyes. Bonk everything down inside. I can't even paint the frickin' table. <laughs> That's how little I can do. Lovely. I hope the storm goes away pretty quick. Right. Sensors. I never actually made the sensors, did I? That's not very smart of me. Okay. That's all the actual kit based, isn't it? Sensors I didn't make. Anything else is placed. Uh, name stuff. Okay. Let's call this one invent. Outside. This is outdoor. This is Sod it. Rust up. At least in here I can paint the cables. Just use the same brown colour. And while I'm in here, I'll eat food and do that stuff. I guess what I could do with that is make it into can soup. Storm's gone. Anti You're a lot of happy. Good. Oh, 
Oh, wow, well, that is. Very strong on the thrust one. Lights. Don't need a digital valve. Don't need a pipe valve. Don't need shoots. Do need some more of these. Okay. cables. Cable's done. This one hooked up. Two hooked up. Right. Both lights are on. That tells me they're both working. Perfect. Next thing, I'm gonna put some omnidirectional power transmitters down so I actually have power throughout this area. All my rechargeable batteries. Six is enough. Let's go nine. I'll make a three by three grid. to run around without paying attention to where I'm going when I know there's holes in the ground.
Apparently you can fool that thing. That script. Right. That makes nine. Where the hell am I going to put these? The obvious place is just stick them, like, one ear. And just grid them out. But that look horrible. <laughs> so... I'm not sure where I'm going to put them. I could just put them in here. Yeah, sod it. Let's just do that. Two. Three. to catch that in time. Four. Might be a touch over the top. Looking at how dense these actually end up being. But do I actually care? No. Over the top is better than not having enough. set hooked up. Fly, go away. Nobody likes you. I'd like to say sorry to break it to you, but I don't think that is breaking it to you. Because I got doors open to stop them from getting too hot. It means that Bugs and things can just fly straight in. I'm kind of impressed I haven't had a bird fly in yet, to be honest. Okay, number three done. To be fair, whichever way I go, I need to demolish something. Let's go that way. Okay. Only directional power transmitter sorted. That means I could probably switch back to using um, wireless power transmitters for a bit, but I won't because I will totally end up standing here for a while and forgetting about it. 
because I'd never do that, wouldn't I? Um, right. The next thing, then, I am going to do is pressurization. So, I'm going to put two in feeds. Three in feeds? Three in feeds. Three in feet. Let's do three in feet. Six out feeds. For no particular reason other than I just can. Um, basically, I'm going to put the two in feeds at the start. And the two out and six out feeds at like the wall end. This should have just work. I need some sensors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, seven. Uh, I am currently building a main base, and as it's daytime, you can see it. Hello, by the way. Box, box. So, it doesn't look like much right now. It's going to be a two-story building, and I'm kind of trying to fit everything to it before I enclose it, just to make my life easy. Uh, so, I currently have a power generation area, which has got wind turbines and solar panels. A few too many solar panels, and yes, I'm aware they're not in an efficient configuration. I'm on Europa, who cares? <laughs> and then I've got an atmospherics room, which has an underground section, a ton of tanks in it, to store all the various gases, and a processing room above it. Which has just got a ton of stuff in it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's currently where I'm at. I'm building a main base, and I want to eventually get to a point where I'm playing with the uh, new updates, so the genetics on the plants and the trading stuff. But I kind of need... I figured I needed a st nice, stable, lovely platform to start that from. So, I'm working towards that right now. Right. So, sensors for atmospherics. I want two IC housings. Um, oh, I should say, this main base is going to have three atmospheric areas, but one of them is going to be very big. So I'm going to use, like, a bunch of sensors across the whole lot um, just to make sure that the airflow keeps going nicely. Why are you on? You should... That should be on and that should be off. You have an error. Come back to that in a sec. Oh so yeah, that's currently why I'm building. Uh, was I building something? I might have to smelt some more copper in a minute as well. Oh, that got me right too, actually. I see two. Let's go over there. Uh, I also want two area power controllers. I haven't got. Okay. And therefore two batteries. 
they will be for basically isolating this system from everything else and maturing it as a backup power source. It's actually kind of annoying that... I know it's correct that you can't press the button until it turns on. It's kind of annoying at the same time they updated that out. At some point shortly, I will also migrate all my stuff over to the other new base, but I should probably carry on working through some tough stuff first. That should be everything I need for this little job. Uh, I've got all the pipes. Okay. Uh, right. <laughs> oh yeah, so this is the furnace room. Uh, it will eventually have two furnaces, hence the empty space. But the other one's still in use at the other base. Uh, line 15, I need to go work out what's wrong with my piece of code. That one. What about it was just that that wasn't on D5? Okay, that is now acting as I was expecting it to. Cool. Uh, right. So. First, so let's do this one room at a time. So this is the greenhouse, and I'm going to have it have a separate atmosphere to all the others. But, well, the furnace will have its own atmosphere. Everything else will have one atmosphere, and then the greenhouse will have a third atmosphere. So let's just start off with this one. So the way I do atmospheres is I pump in gas slowly. YouTube, have you just... No, that one. No, thank you. Finally got my button combination correct. Okay, purple. Uh, did I bring passive vents with me? I didn't. I need three passive vents. Yeah, so I passively just push air in. It's just to keep a little bit of a circulation going. Nothing more than that. Um, but it just helps keep the air fresh. And it means you have to think about trying to extract oxygen when you've got plants growing. You can just have a very slow throughput. 
And it just keeps things about right. That's events two. Third one. Um, yeah, then I use active vents just to keep things pressure, pressure correct in the room. I think I can place this. Can. I don't think I can place this one. I can't. Okay. Area power controller. Yeah, 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 I know there's problems. Stop complaining. There you go, you happy now? Alright, let's make you a green cable. So that's to put the IC <coughs> voice going. Uh, that's to put the IC housing in, which is going to be the overall controller for this. And then want a pair of active vents over here somewhere. Can I just place those down? Now I need to build that as well. Okay. Bye. Yep, that's what I want. Uh, okay. Yep. Okay. Therefore, I need to run power across. May as well. A bunch of lights in. I need two more sensors. Another two sensors. I need to pick up some lights. Uh, no, I need. And that's going to be an occupancy sensor. I can then register what the hell to do with the lights. Uh, I also probably want some more heavy cable. I'm decidedly low on that. Okay. Any sense we can just go in here? The gas sensors I want to be a bit further afield. I'm going to put one in either end of the room so you get an average. But to help with that, I'm going to put lights down. To do that, I need to build a ceiling, don't I? Oh, this thing can be annoying at times. Yes, I am just going to seal all the gubbins away in the middle of a block. I'm too can't be bothered to do it any other way this time. Uh, 
Lights. So, <clears throat> just to create a little bit of variation. This way. Lights a bit like that. Hopefully that's enough lights, but I don't know until I try it. Um, let's put the other gas sensor. that passive vent while I can. Okay. Technically already built this code, but it's a pain in the ass to get to the IC chip, so I'm just gonna rebuild it. Uh main. Okay main. So lights. It's just gonna be LB R zero. That one. Activate. Maximum. Activate, yep. And basically, just turn all the lights on. Uh, I will actually put all the light types in. It's a bit of a pain, but I'll do it. You know you can't have this open at the same time as all the other stuff. Description coming. <laughs> Never noticed that before. Usually they just put no description in, not put description coming. All right, that's the lights done. So yeah. So LV R zero. Uh, I now need the sen gas sensor. Pressure, average. There we go. So I'll take the average across both sensors. Should mean it's a bit more stable. Air out. Uh, 
that active vent. So I always forget about this, but I always need to do... What's it called? Pressure external, pressure internal. Because sometimes this not setting this causes me problems. Most of the time it's fine. Right. So. When A is larger than B. Hundred and five kilopascals. Turn on. Uh, the other thing I'm having issues with, I don't quite know why, if I don't flick the mode at the same time, they don't always depressurize. No idea why. It just doesn't. So I'm putting the mode in and it's going to constantly flick between them. <clears throat> uh, right. Air in. So air in's a bit more complicated. I could do it simply, but there's no fun in that. <laughs> so. Turbo pump. The turbo pump just is on. There's just no questions about that. It just stays on. It's just about the volume in which it moves through. So. My ideal set point is 100. Do I do 100 or do I do 90? Yeah, let's do 90. No, let's do 100. All right, sorry. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale up the speed at which the pump pumps based on how far off of the ideal I am. Basically. Um, so I need to take... So I need to do subtraction R1. I need to do 100 minus however many I want. Sorry, wherever I'm up to. Uh, I need to multiply R0 by, let's say, 3. R1, R1, 3. And then want to do a max between R1 and 5. Basically, that means it'll always pump at least five volumes through whatever that volume is. And then I just set that to the setting. Thank you for follow. Cox blocks. Um, now, what I was debating about earlier was, do I use 90? <coughs> Alright. Um, and just have the last and use it for that, but it's on it. So this should continue to work, because even if it goes over pressure, this becomes a negative value. But because of this max, it'll always pump out that 5. Not 55. Um, so that should just work. Now I'm not going to turn this on. Obviously I would just pump me pumping out gas into the middle of nowhere. And I don't really have any plans to do that. And that doesn't help if I turn this on. I don't really want to waste all my gas. Uh, I also only need this for this one. I'll just export it. Put it in. Uh, actually, I'm going to change that slightly. Because this is going to be the normal, I'm actually only going to set it to two. Minimum.
Okay. So I don't need to set any thingies because it's all done off batch commands. So that it's nice and variable for when I do the other one. Yeah, that's sorted. I basically need to do that, but on the other side of the wall, for the rest of the base. So. Then annoyingly, I can't get in there to actually put that in. <laughs> okay, let's put some other stuff down and come back to that. In air power controller. Which needs cables. I need a passive vent on this one. I'll need another passive vent wherever I put the one. Because this is a much bigger area, I'm going to actually run two of these. One upstairs, one downstairs. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to put the upstairs one in yet. So I have no idea how I'm actually going to design this area. <laughs> um, minor issue, but the one that can't be solved. I think that's probably the simplest way. Stick a bunch of frames down in the center around where the stairs are going to come up. And I can then build on the edge of that, can I? That works. <laughs> uh, right. So. Take all those off. Uh, that will allow me access to cable stuff in. Power, for example. Okay, you're happy. Uh, I want a different colour for these ones. I do need to work out where I'm going to put this IC housing. First things first, I need to look at the pipe. Or I forget. I need to actually hook up two pipes, apparently. Or I forget. Okay. <laughs> right. Now I said, the other one is going to be on that wall. So let's run that pipe. how you can actually put the direction on these ones. They're more power efficient, there's just everything about them is better.
Right. That's that hooked up. And we need to weld up that wall. Passive vent on it. Uh, I need to weld up this wall so I can put the this wall. Oh, I mean, one of these walls. So I can put the IC chip down. Let's just bulk it there. Okay. That's that hooked up. So. I think. Let's place lights down. I may as well place them down. I need to weld up the top of this roof. I can't, of course, place the ones that are going to go on the actual roof, but I've got a connection here to start them from. So, that I'm happy with. For now. Uh, let's go get food. Let's place some lights down and hook some stuff up. Now let's hope this time the potatoes are almost done. I have a feeling I'm about to have to package up my leftover tomatoes. Yeah, six minutes left. Uh, okay. Let me eat. Let me go try and sort that out before they all decay. They are indeed dumb. Whew. Okay, I can just let them decay then. Probably shouldn't though, should I? I'm going to go get the automated oven, because if I dump them into there, it they don't decay anymore for some reason in there, so I can just dump them in there and leave them for now. Automated oven, there you are. Cables needed because for some reason my color of choice in here is pink. Might as well just cook them all and dump them back in the fridge. They'll keep a lot longer that way. I don't like using those cheating mechanics, like, just because it's in that machine, it doesn't decay at all. I know why they've done it. It's the way it sort of... Um, why am I stuck? Because it's kind of too complicated to work out. There we go. Uh, the decay rate inside the thing and then convert it as items, but don't like using it. 
There we go. That'll keep me fed for a while. Yeah. Alright. Weld up. Let's go weld up some stuff. Actually, gonna have to dismantle a bunch of these because I need to put through the vent pipe work. But for now, I'm ignoring that. all them welded up. Oops. You actually want to turn that over. Massive as well. Okay, let's also just double check that I've actually got air into this system. I do. Put some lights in. <sighs> right, up one. second one. It actually puts you in the middle of these. Okay. Hang on, let's just go get stairs. Do three stairs. Just make the stairs. That is the simplest way to avoid this issue. That's not what I wanted. Stairs. Three stairs. Ugh. They're surprisingly slow to make. I've also seriously been run out of stocks of pre-smelted ingots. Lights up. Now, why do these take so long to make? Yeah, I'll be. I'm gonna get a drink.
Come back. Now I'm not going to put the railings on. You definitely can't go there. That should provide light all the way along there. That room's already done. This room needs lights. Sensors around. Stick one here. One here. Yeah, that should work. The other three can go upstairs. So I need to get a cable too.
Okay. I also realise I need to walk in the And I'll put one in each room. Just because, why not? There is lighting hooked up for down here. Did I put the light over there? I did. Uh, I'm out of the cable. Yeah, be. I need to pull up a bunch of these. I need these up to place down light work. I also need to do a little bit. Let's go sort out my air tank, I'll eat some food, stuff like that. So I'm getting cleaned out like usual.
Alright, piping. He took up all of those ones too. I do need to be a little bit careful here. That I don't accidentally hook up. Yeah. Um, so, if I'm not careful about how I place these, because uh, these are the non-insulated ones at the moment, because I didn't really see a point in insulating stuff in this pipe, um, I could accidentally connect my atmosphere in each of the rooms to external, which I don't want to do. So, I need to make sure I switch over to... Uh, insulated pipes right for the last bit inside the main building. Just to make sure that I don't contaminate temperature. Right, so that's the way system hooked up. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do... Build up these blocks. And I'm going to add in a new way to refill all my bottles. Is that air tank is getting kind of low. It's not lasting very long, so it's kind of annoying. So, this I need three gas canister holders and three smart tanks. I've already got a gas canister holder, two of them, anyways. I only have one. Oh yeah, it's two water ones I've got. Okay. Right, I'm just going to colour code them to match the ones that are in the natural suit. The jetpack, the oxygen, and the output one. Oh, 
Now the last thing we need is actually an atmospherics. Because I'm basically going to take... Because it's so cold out here, I can't just take atmospheric gas. Um, it would just kill it, kill me basically. So what I'm going to do is take oxygen out of my kind of internal gas, which is mostly oxygen, and more importantly, temperature controlled to twenty degrees C, approximately. Which is nice and right temperature. So I don't need to do anything with it. Which is my purple pipes that you've been seeing around. Let's see if I hold a tablet to it. 19.2 degrees C. And lots of oxygen in it. So, we use the atmospheric to pull out oxygen and pump it into these things. So, I'm going to place the atmospheric up on top here. In a little cubby hole that's going to be located there. And I'm going to have to turn these upside down because it's going to annoy me otherwise. Okay. So. These two. Which is going to be the... Oxygen, and one of them is going to be a green tank, and one is going to be a white tank. Basically, you need hooking up to the purple pipe supply. This is going to cause this pipe to be a little bit more rich with oxygen than I probably have liked. But, it'll be fine. Sorry. Rich with um, carbon dioxide and oxygen. But it should be fine because of the way it's set up. But it only adds them in when there's not enough. That makes sense? <laughs> Doesn't that? So, the CO2 mixture is created by basically pumping a bunch of oxygen in and then pressure and then adding in carbon and nitrogen to a particular ratio. So by doing this effectively it means they don't have to turn on the salt. It should be fine. This one just be on that system. It'll naturally pull out anything that's in that tank. Demonstrate by this. Zero kilopascals. Okay. This thing needs power. In fact, I probably need power in gym. Let's go get a couple of batteries.
annoyingly, you have to split them out like that. So, whatever. So, one of these. Therefore, live on top here. The other one of these. Live in this room. Not quite sure where yet. In fact, I'll put it here. Right. So the way this power system works, by the way is I've got 14 big batteries in here connected to all of that gubbins. Currently at probably near enough 100% charge. You are at 100% charge. Um, and there's also a bunch of transformers in there. So the transformers are there to stop me short-circuiting the batteries. So I can pull through exactly 100 kilowatts of power. So these things charge really, really quickly. It's always good fun. watch it. It goes so quick, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and it's basically because there's enough charge in the other set to push it down, but three. Four. <laughs> and that should be fully charged in a moment. There we go. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> I love it, but it's so ridiculous. Okay, that one's going to do it as well. Okay. Let's go purple. I don't think I've used purple yet. Not in this building anyways. Okay. So that one will be to power anything that's in this top area. The other one will be to power anything in the uh, working area. I'll then need another one for the in here for the the other stuff. Whatever it's called. Okay. I want an IC chip in this guy because when they upgraded it they allowed you to take the pressure of the outgoing pipe. So I'm going to use that to stop the system going over pressure. I want an IC chip to be able to run that logic. Doesn't need to do anything fancy. It just main J main um, L uh, R zero DB is it's the device itself. And which one is it? Uh, 
guess it's two. Pressure output. Pressure input. Pressure output two. We have to work out which one that one is. My guess, judging by the way that output one seems to be considered like the filtered air, is going to be that one. So, pressure output. Um, and basically all I want to do, register one. less than say 15,000 and S TV ah uh, no I need beyond these to be on anyways is it mode mode yeah R0 that's all it needs to do I'm going to say that worked, because although it got to 18, which is a bit high, <laughs> it did stop. So I may want to turn that down slightly. That's like 12. Just in case. case you can go there you can go there you can go there for a second like that okay so the reason I did that was to make sure that nothing weird got into this system Basically, I just made sure everything got extracted out. Technically, there's a little bit of CO2 in there, though. It's a bit annoying. But, oh well, whatever. I'll just live there for now. I'm not filtering that through. Okay. Right, the last thing I think I need to do before I can start doing, like, nice-looking stuff in here is work out what I'm doing with water. All the other pipes are now hooked up to where they need to be. The only one that left is water. I need to work out where I want to put. So one some of the supply, of course, needs to head to this room. Because this is where vocals get used. I think it's the wrong type of robot. That three way one. That one. The other one can go to the kitchen area, I guess. I guess it'll go onto this wall. Yeah, let's put it on that wall. That'll work. Uh, this is going to get frustrating, isn't it? Quite a lot of stuff crossing it. I'm gonna make it quite hard to get it through. And this is why I decided to do spaghetti junction just in a block. I didn't have to look at. 
didn't have to worry too much about it being incredibly neat and tidy. Got some water bottles and water bottle filler. I'm gonna grab them quick. Now, traditionally, I put more than one in. Debating whether I do or not here. Because normally I'd put them inside, outside, all over the place. But, oh, pull down the hole. Because of the way that I can't drink outside, I have to be in the pressurized space. You two can stop moving. Do I need to, like, separate that out of a window? So you think it's still active. Um, just need to adopt power. Okay. Yeah, normally I'd put one outside the building near the entrance, one just in the entrance. So, in here somewhere. Um, just in case I'm in real need of it and I just... But... Ah, uh, shall I do it? Sorry, let's do it, just for completeness. I'll even put the outside one, despite the fact I can't use it. Water bottle filler. Two of those. Uh, I'm going to grab a couple of battery chargers, too. I guess I need a bunch of batteries to fill them with. I'll come back for them. Actually, got enough stuff in there to build it. Okay, let's make some more Australia. In canal, I've got enough of steel. There's plenty of. I just need some astro. Okay. That's the hard, that's the annoying one. Oh, I need steel for that, do I? Okay. <laughs> I'm making steel first then. Nope, hang on. That's um, an issue. Ah. I think I spotted that. Uh, still pressure in there, good. Uh, still pressure in those, good. Well, that spelt, so let's go stick these water bottles down. Do I place these anywhere? Do I need to put them on?
No, they need to be on the wall. Lovely. <sighs> Thank you. No, actually, change my mind. Nah, I haven't changed my mind. Where I spend my entire time taking these things apart, putting them back together again. Let's see how my steel's doing. Okay, good. Correct amount of volume. Considering I had a panic and thought I put in a weird amount, and apparently I did. So, uh, good thing I spotted that and corrected it pretty quick. It would have been rather annoying. actually goes with some problems here. Whatever. I'll work it out. Pipes hooked up. Uh, now I just need power. Now uh, upstairs I've got it on the map. Yeah, so let's just stick it on the red network. There we go. Bottles are filling up, so that's a good sign.
Uh, right. Four hundred grams of steel. Four hundred grams of cobalt. And steel, copper. And then a lot of pressure. They make a pass Just need to keep an eye on that to make sure I don't completely drain it. Now it should be fine. Didn't really think that through, did I? Still need to wait for this to finish. Oh well. It's fine. Fine, it's all fine. Probably, maybe, possibly not. I think there's probably enough pressure in there that it's not actually going to be to get a low enough temperature. It's only one k. Okay. I think I want to check. Is that digital valve switching on and off? Because I assume this pipe must be empty. It is good. Perfect, that's what I wanted to see. The pressure differential between them and the pressure is dropping. Nitrogen and volatiles. Interesting information. Oh, it's actually going to be quite close at this rate. Oh, we're good. Now I can build my four batteries. What does ink canal require? Yeah, actually, you know what? Oh, it's a bit late now. I was thinking I might just make the good ink canal, but... I'll leave it. So I may have overpressurized that slightly. Okay. Six batteries. Six of those. Four of these. I wonder if I should set it so that when it's finished doing anything, it sleeps for a bit. Last one. Well, it's a bit less barren. I mean, I haven't got any gold, I haven't got any copper, and I haven't got any iron, but... Well, it's not going to be long until I move all this lot across, so... In fact, it's probably literally the next thing on my list is to start moving stuff across. One, 
two. Okay, a filling. Okay. So, anything else I need for this base? In terms of like <coughs> um, physical things, I need. So atmospherics is done. Power and sort of living is done. AKA water and thingy is done. Food I need to sort out in a different way, so that's just gonna get ignored. Uh, I probably want to work out where my fridged vending machine's gonna go and put the pipe put the chute through the floor. Let's just put both of these down. Automated pack of zoom machine and automated pack. So let's put the VIN machine in this This is going to end up as a complicated system. So, let's get down one back. Cross. Cross. Well, that means I can drop it down. And then I can just pass it through now. Go up. Let's put it further this way. Slightly higher up. down somewhere as well. Yeah. Automated packaging machine, there we go. Okay. So. Let's go get food. I actually need oxygen for once. Let's have loads. Probably just let that let that tank out then. Okay. So Okay, they haven't quite gotten to the seed spot, so I'm going to leave them. What's the atmosphere doing in it, by the way? Pretty much spot on where it needs to be. It's supposed to be 
CO2, 5% nit nitrogen. So a little bit of CO2 will be being used up by the plants. But it is getting reason, but it's more or less where it should be. Okay. Perfect. Right. So. Let me run through the checklist of what I need to do. I think there's one thing I need to do. Power. Water. Doors. Atmospherics. Lights. Mostly done, but I can't quite... Done as much as I can. Uh, I think that case, the last thing to do is cooling. Is temperature control within the thing. I basically, want to have air, I'm basically just going to use a bunch of air conditioners for this. To some extent, the pumping through will maintain it, but it won't maintain it well enough. So I need to build all of these, or a few different ones of those, over here. So I probably want three, I'm going to say. I have three air conditioners, that helps. Okay. Uh, right. I need... We've got insulated pipes, that's fine. I need tank. Insulated tank connectors. And I want three of those. So basically all these are going to be used for is to import some X gas to use for doing the initial pressurization of this. Out of steel. That's easily solved. Uh, radiator. Medium radiator. Silver, steel, copper. Yeah, it should be fine. Four of them, I'll be fine. So, what I'm going to do is put a radiator inside of the atmosphere. The pressurized space. Now, in this room, it's actually under that tile there. Um, and then just pipe up to a unit, which will be somewhere there, and then an external one. This one's in this building, because this is, as far as I'm concerned, external. <coughs> um, that's basically how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do one upstairs, and then two downstairs. One for the greenhouse, and one for the area. In theory, that should then work. So, <coughs> sorry, coughing. I know before anyone else, I don't smoke, but I do have a cold, or the tail end of a cold. Which for me always lasts like two weeks after the cold. Really annoying. Okay. My thinking. 
I'm just going to stick up all of them up here. I don't know where I'm going to put the external radiator yet, but that's that one in a bit. One of them underground here, similar in the way I've done over there. Oh, and then an underground one here as well, similar to how I've done over there. Um, so, I'll well just stick it in the middle of. Like there. So there needs to be a radiator in here. Basically, I uh, want some black pipes. Thanks, because that's the color I use. system I therefore need to pump that out somewhere else uh, so my plan is to build an underground chamber to this so it'll go in that basically um, the valve is purely there for pressurizing the system so it allows me to connect the two sides when I drop the canister on then do is hook up power. I think this should probably maintain the red circuit. These things can actually draw a lot of power.
Okay. Then I'll just put a floor over the top of that and you will never know it's there. <clears throat> Basically, it's the plan. Um. Okay. There's one of them done. No, I need to do a second one. A second one. This is going to be an identical system to that one. Just in this room rather than that room. There we go. Oh, it's crap dance. That's why I was waiting for I was wondering where the music can go. I just need to pipe them out externally somewhere. Do another one of these up here. Do that.
might have to move that one further down because I have a feeling this tank connection is going to be nice. Yeah, it's not. Oh, that's annoying. Um, 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 you. Black paint, black paint, black paint, black paint. Steel sheet. That guy. Okay. So I need to work out where the hell that output is going to go. Eventually. At some point, maybe, possibly. Um, and I only need to do the outputs for these two as well. I bought the battery, didn't I? I put this in the greenhouse. That's where you're gonna leave. Uh, let's bung you in this corner. I also need to get power to those two, don't I? Um. Well, that was a bit more of a complicated than it needed to be, but ignoring that. This one. Uh, this one probably just goes straight up here. I feel like not putting this in the wall is going to come back to bite me at some point. Let's put it in the wall. That's that sorted. Right. So. Underground area. This should be the final section of, like, the main works here. Um, and basically, it's going to serve two purposes. One is it will house two of these radiators. Let's shove this thing up over here first. So I know it's there. Um, for this air conditioning system. The other one 
is I'm going to use it for an ore holding facility. Um, now, as a part of that, I have built... They take a while to build, so I did it offline. Silos, hoppers, uh, shed ton of shoots, which I'll need. And power shoots, which I'll also need. And I've got some other stuff somewhere. Stackers and sorters. That's what I want. So, and all this is going to be... Oh, nice pressure. Nah, let's not steal that one. Let's build another one. Because basically, I can dump all the ore into a hopper. Um, that will then go underground, get sorted out into different types. Um, and into correct amounts, which I'll probably do back to 200. So, let's, let's do this a little differently. So, dump stuff into a hopper. It'll then go through sorters. Sorters. Split up the different types of ore, including ice. Ice will then just go off to an ice crusher. It'll be crushed into whatever it needs to be crushed into, um, which will then get dumped into either the water system or the non-insulated waste system, this one, or that water system, um, to be sorted out in the air handling prep system. Uh, anything that's left will go through a stacker to match it up to 200s. It'll then get stored in its own individual silo. This silo will be left open, so it's not really... It's purely just a buffering point. I will then, up here, have digital valves. That way around. Uh, what? Uh, nine of which, because there's nine ores. That will then feed. Basically, it'll allow me to... actually put one in. And eventually I can then open it. It'll allow one through. And if I want, let's say iron, I just bunk a bunch of them through until it's happy. They then go into the flip floppery, which decides which way they'll go into here. Now I'm gonna have to switch this out to a different flip floppery, I think, because that just the like the non-automated one just seems to not work very well. You just send it one then the other. So it'd be useful for the ice crusher downstairs, where I'm gonna have two of them, but not so useful here. That'll be a nine. And then, do these flip-floppers... What's 
the behavior of flip flop? Does anybody know? Digital flip flop will talk between two outputs using a specific ratio into one. For example, in settings, it's done to two, allow two items to pass through the primary output before flipping to the secondary one. It's not really what I want. Um, I want to be able to basically send it one way or the other. I mean, I could just send it like the ratio looks like 10 to 1 and then just flick it every time I want it. So that might work. Uh, yeah, so that's my plan for the oars. But basically, I need a space big enough to house nine of these, plus all the other equipment needed. So, this is going to be quite a big space. So just deconstruct all this so it's not hovering. Uh, so I've got two hoppers, because I'm going to put one inside and one outside. Um, in fact, I should probably just put in the inside one, shouldn't I? Let's put it... the advanced one? What's the difference? They literally just have open, clear memory, import, blah blah blah, shoot. It just lets you do data on it basically. Okay. I don't really want the advanced one then. Oh, interesting. That's actually placed on the little grid then. Let's plonk you. Oh, really? That one there. That is all that's blocking it. Oh, I can place it one down. Yeah, again. I'll do. So this thing is just going to be underground. Uh, I want it connected to the outside world. Oh, this is going to be annoying until I get... Let's take up the power of the chest. I'm not going to make this particularly big. I really see a point in it. I need to make it big enough. Kind of go two down. It's actually probably the correct lower half now. I need to be relatively big. I don't know exactly how big, but relatively big.
Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I may have to go one further down. Oh well, I know I'm going to carry on with this. But I think nine of them should fit in a four by four area. I should go five by five just in case. Be able to judge what size it is by the number of things I'm in. So that'll be number one. It's the reason I have to go further down, because I've got a couple of things that are one down only. I guess I need to go far enough that I find the other one of those. That'll probably dictate my length. Turn that right down again. Okay. Right. So this is how big now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Let's go one further this way then. Five. I just need to go a little bit further this way till I find the other um, thingy thing. Air conditioning unit. I guess the other thing I could do is I could put that upstairs air conditioning unit down here, couldn't I? There it is. I could just put the, run the pipe all the way down through the Might do that actually. That's probably a better idea. I've got two entrances as exits then. One I've made, one I didn't make. Okay, I need to go one more level down then.
Uh, is that far enough? I don't think it's good. Nope, that is the correct amount. Underground chamber. Very fun. There we go. Right, the last thing I need to do then is find where my two hoppers are. This one I think will be nice and easy. This one may be a little bit less easy. Depends whether it falls over the top of that cavern or not. way up so it doesn't bump me around all the way all the time. Yeah, I thought it would. Right. Uh, thrust down because that's way too sharp. Okay. Just put the hopper back in then. <sighs> Can I do anything with this freaking this cable? Um. I must be able to. It just looks wrong having it one down. If I go in like this.
Oh. <sighs> Back here, cable. Perfect. Not that you didn't. Um, it's supposed to be in there. He's supposed to be there. I have a feeling these things aren't airtight. Probably going to need to be careful of that. Right. What do I need to make you? Cheats. Assuming you're not airtight, let's put the U in front of me. Then, just need to shoot out. down the floor. And then I'll weld it up once. There we go. And conveniently, it goes completely around this thing so it doesn't interfere at all. Perfect. Well, these up and then go and get food. We got food. This thing's seriously coming along, though. Probably not going to get to the decorating stuff today, though. Oh yeah, well. But to be fair, I could probably switch out the thingy thing once. Uh, wireless one since I think I'm now in wireless range and just about everywhere I am.
I don't need to stop that up. So that's all done. Cool. Right, I think I need the welder, and I think I need a whole bunch of steel sheets. I think I then just want a bunch of cable. Why cut it? No, plastic sheets, okay. I need to go grab some more plastic sheets. through this thing. I'm guessing is a mining hole I've made. It doesn't look naturally formed. Okay. Now I need cables. forget about this. The infeed's at the top. So I'm actually better off looking fine. We'll be on top of them. Basically, I need a stacker of silo. of those and of course they're the wrong way around So, I do always put in all of the sorters. You may say, why do you want to sort the last one? Well, you get regen, regen and all sorts of weird things in it. So I don't want to dump them into the last one. But... So it's easier just to do it like this, basically. 
I want two here because I'm going to use the other one for ice. Those can go like that. That one will then go to the ice, which will be in here, I guess. Ice will then just get flip flop between those two. We forget how many shoots these systems take up. I knew there was a reason I built an old fossil. That was expensive to build. Did I actually plan to get this system working? Which point out. Um, I just want to hook up all the chutes so that I can wild up the floors. I get lucky and I can actually find. Yeah. It was worth a try.
Oh, I was miles off, wasn't I? Oops, that's too far. There's a shoot network hooked up. At least on the feed side. <laughs> um, I now need to hook up all the other ones. Which is basically all nine of these. Oh yeah, I can't even do that. Um... Hmm. Rethink needs to be done on that. Um. What thing I'm gonna do? Put a block below this. Yeah. I don't really like the look. Of into nothing. Okay. So I guess I need one more type of unloader question mark. Do I put in the normal unloader or should I just do it then? Uh, what I need to do ba 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 So I'm debating whether I put in this unloader. Because that way you can just dump in a mining belt and it'll unload for you. It's kind of quicker and easier to... No, I'm not going to. I generally find it easier just to stand here and go... Bip, 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 bip. Okay. So, how do you think of how I'm going to hook this lot up? Before I do that, let's finish the thingy systems. What I want to see is there a good way down? Probably down through there. I am along that wall. In theory, I'll just go down this wall. Here. Like that. get there through all this lot. That's not right.
Right. Uh, I am not Let's down. Two frames. Like that. Not weld them up. And then point the radius. I think that should look right. I'll put a floor to that so it looks like it's actually sat on something. It'll look like it's just sort of suspended from the roof. I think that would work. And of course it's on the wrong side, isn't it? I also have a feeling that's too high. No. That's the correct height, apparently. Really? I need to put like a block below it to make it sealed. Yeah, that's right. I had to put a block below. Fair enough. Use this block then. I find it weird that the way they've defined the size of this block is it extends out a whole bunch. And I think they've done it to make sure that you don't sort of put it in and build next to it. So it looks like there's an air gap. But it creates a bit of annoyance because you can't even place like pipes next to it. And it'd be nice if you, even if it was just the final run of this it had a slightly like t-shaped whether or not I need to move that one back. It's going to annoy me if I don't. Those things I hadn't noticed it, it wouldn't bother me. Okay. 
Let's do it. Let's move it back one. This is gonna annoy me. Construct you. Construct you too. And then put in the last few points. Okay. Uh, right. That is fine. I need the welder. Some steel sheets. Just to put those up. What do I do about this thing? Uh, right. I'm debating, do I just put it vertical? Because that way I can use a shoot to join. Like that. Um, kind of debating how compact I can make this thing. <laughs> In theory, you could continuously like switch from side to side. You have one on top, one on the side. I guess ideally do it properly. You also want to do this. So the outer space between each one. <laughs> I 
How many would that get me? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got one on the end for the nine. In theory. but whatever. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That does technically work. It looks kind of horrendous. Um, hmm. What the hell do I do with that? You're all fine. Um, as I said it technically works. <laughs> Not sure I like it. Oh, lovely. Just what I needed when I was trying to work something out. Thanks, game. Then. It technically works. I mean, ideally, I like to turn it 90 degrees. In theory, I've got a good line up and down to every single one of them. just looks a bit, well, not a bit, very black. Um, I... What I'm debating about is would I be better off having a series of these? They're quite big, bulky. Um, but again, that gives me what I want, and it looks a bit less horrendous than this mess. And technically, there's space to put like a sign in, so I could actually know what each one is. Whereas technically there is space on this one, but it's a bit hard work. Ah. I might stop on that one. Um. Oh, 
That was a short storm. That wasn't quite what I was expecting to happen, but I'm guessing I shouldn't be surprised. I think this thing's set to 8 megapascals, so it's going to take a little while to pressurize that again. But yeah, that's all I'm going to do for moving over gas into the air conditioning system to reach these rooms. Make sure I close that valve as well. So, yeah. I think I'm going to stop on that. I might have to physically try. Oh, should I just do it? So let's just do it. That one will look alright if I turn it the other way. The thing is, that's the conclusion I'm coming to on that one. But it is a bit of a mess. Well, more than a bit. need to leave that extra cap, do I? I think in some respects I prefer this. Um, but I think it, I'd have to step these so they're all in line. It shouldn't be hard. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what to do. 
I think this is probably the way to go, and it's just a case of doing it. I can bury all the pipes behind here, can't I? And we'll go down. Across these two. I think that's probably the way to go. Line all those up. Drop all the pipes down the back here. Hook up all these. Then go vertically up through them. Got it, I'm just going to do it. I know I said I was going to go, but I'm just going to do it. Damn it. <laughs> I do need to go. I can't just leave something half done, can I? I also need to make sure I get power to these, don't I? Uh, yeah, I need to make sure I don't block these. No, that should be fine, actually. Should I put down there? Let's go with the horrible colour. Didn't want the windowed ones. There we
Thank you. Into that I need to make that a little bit bigger. That's the third one. Press up so I don't get moved around. down because that's far too work There we go. Right, I'm not going to get any more on that up. Uh, those nine. Nope, I haven't done nine. Those nine plus power. The the outfeeds. thing I need to actually do. Hang on. Very well do anything more up. I need to hook up those nice things. It means I need to get a waste pipe, normal waste pipe, plus a liquid down the bottom. Probably gonna be easiest to go down here. Uh, no, here actually. It's going to be easier to go on that one. How many blocks have I got? Oh, it's going to be easier to this one. Because the pipes are pretty much directly above this.
Why do I do it like that? It's a silly way to do it. I want it out of this one. Okay, waste one done. No, I just need to do a different one. Can okay, we get some more pipe? Water pipes. Hunger caution. Well, they're running there. I've got an IRL hunger caution going on. I really should go and sort. But I kind of just want to finish these last few bits. have a bit of a think now. Is that really everything? Before I try and like actually seal that room, that whole area. Because once I've done that, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Because all the different rooms will mix and yeah. <coughs> It'll just be horrible. I mean, finally I've got a solid outside and I've got a solid inside to the greenhouse. Nothing's actually going to go. So yeah, if I needed to get into the walls, I could. It's just going to be a pain in the ass to move around them. Because <laughs> they're already kind of a mess. And I will openly define it as a mess. But it's a mess you can't see. And that's the important thing. At least you won't be able to see eventually. Huh. For some reason, my waste tank is filling up a lot slower now all of a sudden. I wonder if it didn't like whatever temperature my air tank was at, so it kept just pushing through much quicker. Weird. If I like to make that symmetrical, I should put those the other way around. Put those back one. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> yep, 
How would you? There really isn't a good way of like splitting, like manually splitting between those two lines. The only way I can think of is put like a manual valve in. One of those. Basically, it then and then put an overflow before it. That actually probably would work. I might do that. Okay. So progress has definitely been made. A lot of progress has definitely been made. Like this place is now feels, at least as a bare bones. Completed. Cables are all routed properly. Power is everywhere it needs to be. Um, pipes are all routed properly, so hopefully when I just turn the whole lot on, it just works. Yeah. I think at that point I'm going to go. Since there's actually a few of you, I'll kick a raid off as I go. Um, I'll just raid somebody else who's doing station is. Um, and yeah, I'll be back sometime in the week, probably Thursday, to carry on with this. And I'll have a think about whether I like that shoot system. Practical. I'm not sure I like the look of it, though. I'm not sure I like the look of the weird one, either. So I don't quite know what I'm going to do about that yet. Um, I'm not the sort of person who likes the sort of modern arty style one. But I'm not sure about this one either. Um, I will probably do a bit of tidying up around. So I will probably weld up all these steel frames fully. I'll also dig out the bottom a little bit so that I don't get any stuff poking through like that. Um, yeah, and I'll come back with, basically, you'll be putting the outside shell on, trying to pressurize the space, and then trying to actually build all the rooms up properly, because at the moment they're all just, like, bare bones what I needed to put in. So, yeah. We'll do that. Um. Yep, so, bye-bye for now. I'll be back in the week. fun. And I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.